Let's do some math for fun. Here, this for you guys. The series for n goes from 1 to infinity, n over 3 to the n's power. And of course, we can just use the ratio test to show that converges. But what value does that converges to? Well, you know, that's a much more interesting question and also harder, right? Hmm, how can we do that? Though? Okay, as usual, I like to ask myself, wouldn't it be nice if I can somehow change the equation to make it easier? And in this case, I believe if I just have a 1 on the top instead of the end, the equation will be so much easier, right? Because I'll be just working with the series of 1 over 3 to the n, and that's the geometry series, and we like that so much, right? I call that to be the best friend, right? Okay, I do have the n on the top though. I need to make a connection between our best friend and that, and hopefully everything works out nicely, right? So, let's write that down. Write the things that we know much better, and we know that the best friend n goes from 0, right? For the best friend is 0, not 1. This right here is 1, but we'll fix that later on, maybe. Anyway, 0 to infinity, x to the nth power, we know this is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. That's the best friend, right? Geometry series. This is true under the condition that absolute value of x is less than 1. So just keep that in mind. And if I plug in x is equal to 1 third, and that's why I said, right, that's the easy case for that question. Okay, so now, let's see. If x is 1 third, then on the left hand side, I get a series of 1 over 3 to the n power. I need to have the n on the numerator as well though. So in other words, you see that here we have the n in the exponent. I kind of want to have the n right here in the front, right? How can I bring the n to the front? Huh, that sounds like a calculus operation, isn't it? Namely, the derivative, right? So, let's look at this, and let's just differentiate both sides and see what we'll end up with, alright? So, d dx on both sides. On the left-hand side, let's put down the series, and this is n is equal to, remember, for our best friend, the first term is 1, the second term is x, the third term is x to the second power, and so on, so on, so on. When we differentiate, the first term 1 will become 0, so we lost that term, right? So, instead of n is equal to 0, n will actually start with 1, okay? And then we have infinity right here, and we can just bring the power to the front, minus 1. So you see this is n, x to the n minus 1 power. Another way to look at here n is equal to 1 is because if you kept it n is equal to 0, plugging 0 into here, well, that just contributes 0, right? That's why n should start with 1, cleaner this way. Okay, so this is the expression that we have. And on the right-hand side, we can also differentiate this guy, right? And this is the same as saying differentiating, let me put this down as 1 minus x to the negative 1 power, right? So let's look at this, the differentiate. Bring the negative 1 to the front, so we have negative 1 times the inside, 1 minus x like this, and then subtract 1, so then negative 2, and then don't forget to do the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative inside, which is multiply by negative 1. Okay, so in another word, you know, this is the same as well, negative negative become positive, so we have just 1 over 1 minus x, and let me just emphasize the x in red, and then to the second power. On the left hand side, we have the series when n goes from 1 to infinity, n times x to the n minus 1 power. What shall we do next? Well, why don't we plug in x is equal to 1 third? And remember, earlier for our best friend, that is the jet when <laughs> x is in between of negative 1 and 1, right? And when you differentiate that, the radius convergence stays the same. So you can still go out to 1, negative 1. And if I plug in x is equal to 1 third, that is certainly on the interval of convergence. So we can totally do that, okay? Let x equal 1 third. And the reason is because so that I can bring this down to a denominator and I will have some kind of 1 over 3 to the some nth power, right? So let's see what will we end up with. This is going to give us, let me just put it down here, the sum, the series, 
uncles from one to infinity n and then let me just put down one third like this to the n minus one power and then we also have to plug in one third onto the right hand side this x so one minus one third square yeah fix this a little bit this is the sum of the series n goes from one to infinity n on the top now right and you see n minus one go here right so we have n over 3 to the n minus 1 power, that's what we have. And that's really close to what we want. Now, what is this? Let's do this in our head. 1 minus 1 third is 2 third, right? And in square that, you get 4 over 9. And you do the reciprocal of that, you get 9 over 4, okay? And now, you see right here, I need to have the 3 to the nth power in the denominator. But this is 3 to the n minus 1. What can I do? Well, why don't I multiply by 1 third on both sides? And actually, let me do this in blue so that people will comment down below, okay? Let's multiply 1 third on both sides. And you see, when you multiply 1 third on both sides, 3 times this, you get exactly well, 3 to the first power times 3 to the n minus 1 power at the exponents. You get exactly 3 to the nth power on the denominator. On the left hand side, you get exactly what we want. n goes from 1 to infinity. On the top is n over 3 to the nth power now. On the right hand side, all you will have to do is do the fraction. 3 over 4 without any explanation, alright? You should be able to do the fractions. Anyway, that is it. So cool, right?